know what you're thinking when you see me move through this roof. You're thinking ballerina. <laughs> oh, I'm not as nimble as I used to be. Here we go. Oh. Hello everyone, so we're on a new job today. Uh, we've got a bungalow uh, behind me here. It's got quite a big roof on actually. Uh, 12 metre span from one side to the other. So uh, first day on the job, everything's here. Um, trusses are all down over here. Bracing's are all up. Uh, brickies have uh, nicely bedded the plate on for me. So the first thing we've got to do before we do anything is just, um, just cut all these half laps. There's uh, two along this side, one along that side, half lap on that corner there. Uh, then I can have a look at the drawing. There's a girder truss that goes from uh, this pier across to this one, which takes these trusses that come this way, and the rest of the trusses are just full trusses. As I said, 12 metres from here to here, so it's going to be fun putting them up. So let's get these half laps done first, have a look at the plans, and then we can start marking out. So we've got everything marked out now, my braces are marked out, and um, we're set out ready. We've got this girder behind me, you can see. And um, that's a triple and that takes the uh, trusses that go across to the other side of the plate over there. What I've got to do here is uh, there's nine of these trusses. They're all sort of common truss. What we basically do is cut uh, 90 degrees. I don't know if see one pointing down there. 90 degrees off the end where the bottom cord meets the underside of the rafter. And then they will fit in straight into these, uh, these joist hangers here. So what we're going to do, it's going to be a bit tricky, is these aren't particularly, although they're 12 metres long, they're not particularly high. So what we're going to do is walk them across here flat and then just upright them at that end, drop them into the shoe and then we'll brace the first one back and then we'll just put them in one at a time, put a little brace across the top until we get them all in and then we'll probably brace that section up. So I've set the time lapse up uh, just above me here and uh, you can see us do that. So hopefully you'll see from that bit of time lapse that we've got those trusses up. Um, they are quite wide, 12 metre span, which is, is big, um, but they've not got a great pitch on them. The pitch is only sort of 20, 25, 28 degrees. So they're not, they sort of look more unwieldy than they are. We just took our time, um, one on each end, lifting them up and uh, it went really well. You'll see what I've done here is this little girder. Um, we put that in first and that's just propped off the scaffold up there. And I did pretty much the same here. You see, this is the first truss. Where is it? Hang on, let's turn this around. Um, this is the first truss that we put in and as you can see what we've done is clamped the scaffold to the edge of the scaffold and put two lengths of bracing across. So it is all a little bit sort of wobbly at the minute. Um, but, you know, we're just, just very careful. Obviously there's not much wind. You wouldn't do this if there was a lot of wind anyway. So what we can do now is these guys have started putting the truss clips on and I'm now going to put in the bracing that goes uh, where all these structural elements meet. So 
I'm going to be uh, spending a bit of time with the nail gun now. I know what you're thinking when you see me move through this roof. You're thinking ballerina. <laughs> oh, I'm not as nimble as I used to be. Here we go. Oh. It's not the most graceful thing to watch, but still not bad for a bloke in his 50s. <laughs> Onwards and upwards. So this is the main guts of the roof done, obviously, and uh, um, I say I'm not going to show you many more details. It's not that much. There's a barge detail going on the end and a fairly simple soffit fascia detail, which I may do in some smaller videos, but I may not. And you may have already seen it, but uh, uh, yeah, so I'm really happy with how it's gone. I cracked on well today. It's always good to get the trusses for off the ground stood up and braced. It means, um, you know, they're where they should be and, you know, any adverse weather or anything like that, they're not going to blow over. So. Yeah, happy with that. Um, this is not a full in-depth how-to video because ultimately um, it's just a simple roof. It's trusses it's gable end to gable end. Um, there's a small uh, little bit of interconnecting roof on the front, but I've done a couple of videos on that kind of thing now. So you can have a look on my channel and check them out. I think there's, well, I'll put one here. You can have a look at it if you fancy an in-depth video. Um, just gives you an idea of how we manhandle these trusses up. We're not on a big site. We haven't got cranes or anything like that. But, you know, there's four of us here. We took our time. Um, as I said earlier, the wind's not too bad. Um, so yeah, um, you know, it's nothing, nothing exciting at all. Gable end to gable end. It's quite a big roof, as I said. Look, um, sort of 16 metres down there, and it's 12 metres across. So it's kept us busy today. We've braced it all up. The trusses aren't fantastic. <laughs> Again, I'm not going to, I'm not going to name any names. But we've had to, I've had to um, put. Uh, you can see here, um, I've had to fix a ratchet strap down to the concrete pad to try and pull this bottom cord straight. Um, so I don't quite know what's happened there. It's Par for the cause, as I've said in previous videos, but uh, anyway, um, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. It just gives you an idea of how we put a roof on a bungalow. Thanks for watching.